Hey, my name is Josh Colby with Adam Audio, and today we're going to talk about DSing. So first we got this track and we got a female vocal in this one. So with female vocals sometimes too, they can get really sibilant on the top end. So we're going to just dive into this. And I'll, we're going to listen to a full pass but without the DSer on. And then we'll just go into detail how you can correct some of these, the, you know, the, like the sound that you get. You'll never understand, you'll never realize My love was true, you'll say anything Okay, so you can hear it like on the S's and stuff, you hear like that extra S, and that's going to stand on the mix too, especially if you have, you know, compression going on after it, or even on your master bus or in mastering, that's going to pop out sometimes more when you bring up that noise floor, it's just going to stand out. So how we can we fix that? We can do it with a de-esser. So, this is just a stock Avid DSR. This is what I personally use often. It does what I, exactly what I need. So, all right, so we're gonna run this through. We're just gonna start playing with it. So typically with DSers, I like to start seven, eight, nine, ten 10K and just kind of play with there. It's gonna be dependent on the vocals too. I found female vocals, seven, eight, nine 9K and up is really the sweet spot. So this one in this particular mix, I found it to be about 7K was really the sweet spot. So we'll run through it and I'll show you. You'll never understand, you'll never realize My love was true, you'll say anything You'll never understand, you'll never realize My love... So yes, yeah, so you can see it smooths out that, that S sound that you get on those vocals. So we'll just go for some of the parameters too. So in this setting, I have it set as high frequency only. So what this is gonna do, it's just gonna literally just do everything above where I have that frequency. It's gonna, high, it's gonna DS everything above that. And what the range does too, is it'll, that's pretty much how much um, DSing you want to go on too. So it just can go up to, like I had it set at negative 12 dB, that's probably a little too high, but you know, you just gotta play with it. It really just gotta use your ears and see how everything comes out. And sometimes too, what you can do is once in a while, I'll use two DSers in um, the sequential order. And say sometimes there's like a, something in the two, one, two, three K range that's a little off and it's really bothering me, but I don't want to EQ it out because it'll affect the overall tonal quality of the vocal. You can just do a DSer at a specific frequency and do that too. So just for instance, I know this one, between one, three K, there's something going on, so. Never realize my love was true. You'll say it. So that is the basics of DSing.